Hello, I am Von Kenneth D. Alberto from BSMT3A4. Today, I'm going to discuss about Radar ARPA Performance Test and Magneton Cavin Check. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to set up the ARPA or the radar. We need to wait for 90 seconds until it stops and send and transmit. Then, we need to click the main button. Next, click the test menu. Once click, inside the test menu, there are different buttons such as self-test, monitor test, keyboard test, mon display, system alarm log, and system information. But the one we need is the mon display. After clicking the mon display, we will see an echo. In order to get information from this echo, we need to adjust the VRM to the farthest point of performance monitor pattern. And as you can see, the white stripe lines are the VRM. After adjusting it to the farthest point of performance pattern, we need to check the information of VRM that can be seen on the upper right of the screen. So, as what I've said earlier, that the VRM is on the farthest point, as we can see, and the VRM information is in the upper right, which is 16.83 nautical miles. After that, we are going to check transmitter and receiver system attenuation value. It is said that it must not exceed such limits. For transmitter system, it must be less than 7 decibels. And for receiver system, it must be less than 3 decibels. After checking it, we can now exit. Just click exit button below on the lower right part of the screen. Now, we'll proceed to the magneton current check. First, we need to change the range to 48 nautical miles. Now, the range is already set to 48 nautical miles. After changing it to 48 nautical miles, let us now check the magneton current bar to say if it is normal. So, it is said that the magneton current is normal if there are for this radar 25 to 30 kilowatt hour. It must be 6 to 9 scale marks and for radar 10 kilowatt hour, it's 4 to 6 scale marks. So, as we can see in our radar screen, the magneton current is in normal. Finally, after getting all the informations that we needed, we can now click the exit button.